this section, we are going to look at how to do or work around Modulo 5. Okay, working around Modulo 5 is quite easier. So the trick is that when you are given a question relating to Modulo 5, we pay attention to the integer that has been given. Okay, and not just the integer, we are going to pay attention to the last digits in the integer. And I'm saying that if it is in Modulo 5, okay, we pay attention to the last digits. If the last digit, okay, is from 0 to 4, then our answer is going to be the last digit. Okay? But if our answer is from 5 to 9, then we are going to subtract the 5 from whatever value that represents the last integer and I write it there. Okay? So let's look at the following examples. So in this case, we have 60 modulo words, 5. In the normal modulo arithmetic class, you are supposed to subtract the number from the integer to the time you get what? A positive number. Or to the time you get a number that you cannot subtract again. But when you are dealing with a number that is very big, you, it will take you time for you to do that. So this is the, the trick in doing that. So in this case, you realize that this is modulo 5. And the last number is what? Is 0. And we are saying that if the last number falls between 0 and 4, then the modulo is what? The last number. So in this case, it is what? 0. The second example, we have 7, 5, 2, modulo 5. So we are going to pay attention to the last number here. The last number is what? It's 2. It also falls between 0 and what? 4. So it means that the answer is the last number, which is what? 2. Let's look at the third example. We have 9,264 modulo 5. So we are going to pay attention to the last number. The last number is 4. 4 is less than 5, okay? Or it falls between 0 and 4. So it means that the answer is what? The last digit. Now let's look at the last two examples. These, these are quite different from the first three examples that we've looked at. This is 628 modulo 5. In this case, you realize that the last number here is bigger than what? 5. So we are going to subtract 5 from the last number. Okay, so this is going to give us 8 minus 5, which will give us what? 3. Let's look at the last example. We have 10,746 modulo what? 5. So we are going to pay attention to the last digit, which is 6. So 6 minus 5 will give us what? 1. So this is the trick in dealing with modulo 5. Whenever the number, the last digit is between 0 and 4, the last digit becomes what? Your answer. And whenever the last digit is between 5 and 9, you subtract 5 from that last digit and the result becomes your answer. Thank you. Let's continue to the other section of the video. And if you are watching, make sure you subscribe you like the video, you comment, okay, and you share to your friends so that they also enjoy the video. Thank you for watching our videos and I hope you learned a lot. But before you go, make sure if you have not subscribed, you subscribe and then you hit the notification so that anytime we share a new video, you get to have access to them. You can also follow us on our social media platforms Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, they are all at Suyade. The spelling is S-U-A-D-Z-E. Or you can also log on to our website at www.suyade.com and you get amazing resources for your educational journey.